what is up? Joe here, back at it again with another special video. And today, I have two special guests. I'm Tammy. And I'm Skywalk Tim. And together, we are going to explore the oldest town of Davao Oriental. Carriaga! All right, so let's go. Carriaga at Davao Oriental is the eastern extreme point of the country and dubbed as the sunrise capital of the Philippines. In this video, my friends and I will be embarking on an adventure to discover what this place has to offer. Meet the Mandaya tribe, Caraga's very own locals in the area. The Mandaya is one of the respective ethnic tribes around Caraga's cultural community. Mandaya means first people from the upstreams. Learning more about these beautiful, sophisticated tribal unit was something very insightful for me. And they were very welcoming to people visiting their community. If you're wondering how this place is called the Sunrise Capital of the Philippines, then you should check out Kusan Point. This is where the sun rises first in the country. It features different attractions such as a sundial, swimming pool, a jubilee cross, and a lighthouse where guests can learn the history of Kusan Point. El Mabasa Pool Garden Resort In Barangay Santiago features a man-made pool where fresh spring water is flowed within the area. A good place to relax and have coffee while you enjoy dipping your feet by the pool. Nearby the area, you can do a short and easy hike to the stunning Princesa Falls. A cool, refreshing place where you can chill and also get an up-close experience with the waterfall. From the resort, we took a boat ride to the marine protected area at the Pisay Point. Explore and climb towards the Crystal Cave or Altar Cave as what the locals call it, where in the inside are some sparkling minerals formed around the stalagmites and stalactites. Still around Barangay Santiago is the stunning Pantat Tidal Pool and White Beach. We literally had the beach to ourselves and enjoy the natural formations of the Tidal Pool. A stunning view showcasing its natural wonders. Afterwards, we enjoyed our first piece, lechon. Caraga's very own lechon de leche. I can't even describe how delicious they made the lechon, so I'll let my footage do the talking. If you're up for another adventure, then head to Magpamangao Falls, featuring another waterfall where you can go a little adventure by cliff diving or chilling by the raft. The journey heading to the location requires some downward hiking and water crossing. You can head there by foot or you can ride a carabao. His name is Chelsea. Yes, the carabao is male, by the way. My arms will literally kill me while riding, so it's up to you if you want to give it a go. Why not, right? If you want to experience more adventure, now let's test your stomach. Before heading to our next stop, we had some interesting delicacies. Coconut worm larvae and frogs. Coconut worms over here. What? Hakuna Matata? Lasa. Tastes like adobo. I'm gonna grab a huge leg of it. Look at this. Adobo bato. Adobo Okay. Not bad. Okay. <laughs> now that you guys are filled up with some worms and frogs, I'll take you a tour at one of the most famous tourist spots around Caraga, the Kapuka Falls at Barangay Lamyawan. The place is accessible by getting a motorcycle ride and a trek down the river. It features a unique landscape which water flows into the natural swimming pool then down the river. Travelers can go near the waterfall by crossing the river using a rope. Bilan Cave. This cave is literally a hidden gem. The place hasn't been explored by many people, hence exploring in the inside would be a challenge. To make your exploration easier because you will encounter a very dark cave, I suggest bringing a strong waterproof LED light to illuminate your path. Now it's time for some more beach fun. Head out to San Luis Beach. This is my favorite location at Caraga. A 2.3 kilometer wide stretch beach where you can go learn how to surf or skimboarding. I was literally amazed that not a lot of people have occupied this place because it's literally a stunning sight. 
The local instructors were very helpful and we literally had fun learning the ropes. And that basically sums up our trip. Alright guys, this ends my video for today. And I would like to give a special thanks to everyone here. Yeah, yeah, from Tambayan. Yeah, yeah, from Lakwanchero and again yo. Tani from Tambayan. Camila for SD Adventures. Mikey! Oh my god! Jayofthegero.com Tim of the Avengers of Skywalk Tim Alright, so that ends my vlog for today. See you guys in my next vlog venture. Bye! Bye.